All right. Hey, welcome to Discover Your Home. I'm Mark. Thanks again for joining us. And what I want to talk to you tonight about is a question that I was asked uh, by a customer of, you know, when you use 100% silicone, where do you use it? Where do you recommend it? Why and why not? Sounds good. So let's kind of get into it. Uh, I like to use silicone caulk primarily interior, anywhere there's water or water can sit. So obviously around your tub, bottom of the shower, uh, around the shower heads and handles, uh, anywhere there's water that can penetrate uh, behind either a fitting or a space on the floor, uh, that's where I highly recommend it. Silicone really does a nice job. It sticks really well and, and, and really doesn't dry out. So it holds up if done properly, uh, should last a very long time. So you definitely want to do it in your shower area or tub area, uh, say where your backsplash meets the, um, granite or quartz countertop along there, especially around where the, uh, uh, the backsplash is up behind, say, the, uh, the kitchen sink. Uh, if I'm using it on the exterior, I'm doing necessarily, uh, say, a new door, a new window. Anywhere I am not going to be painting that surface, I'd like to use silicone. And the reason why I say that is, and most people don't understand this, is that silicone caulk you cannot paint. So I'm going to highly recommend if you're putting in, uh, say, a, a new door, a new window, uh, silicone is great. It holds up well in many environments. It's got great flexibility. Uh, it sticks incredibly well. But if you find that you're going to be painting over that surface or if you're caulking that's adjacent to something that needs to get painted, I'd probably go with a different type of caulk. Uh, in in that in that realm in in that fashion. So if uh, you find yourselves that um, painting is is the thing that's going to be really the deciding factor, I wouldn't recommend using silicone caulk. So this is just a little tidbit. Hopefully it'll help you out when you're when you're knocking around the outside of your house this year or doing some work on the inside. So hopefully this is of help to you. Please hit the subscribe button and let us know what you think. And I would like to say thanks again for joining us. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Discover Your Home with your host, Mark Lotz. Online at LotzRemodeling.com. That's Lotz, L-O-T-Z, Remodeling.com. And on Twitter and Facebook, at Lotz Remodeling. We'll catch you next time.